Hello everyone, my name is Kill Chicken, and I'm back with another LEGO Minecraft 2018 set review. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the very first of the LEGO Minecraft Battle Packs. This is the Nether Fight. This set is set number 21139 and retails for $14.99 in the US. And it has 84 pieces, so if you watch my other video, the farm, uh, the melon farm, this one has significantly more pieces than that one. And I'm really happy because this, it's still a little low on the piece per, uh, the price per p part ratio. But considering the things that it includes, it makes up for the fairly large price. So, uh, taking a look, we see we have a wither skeleton. Second time to get one of these guys. Um, and it's really nice because this is a fairly cheap set. Um, because, I mean, it's a fairly, fairly cheap set to get such a rare, well, rare character in. Also, we have a zombie pigman, and that is, that's good because we've only gotten two of these before in the railway and the the nether fortress set. Also a magma cube, this is our third time of getting one of these. Great to get another one of those. And Alex, as we can see here, she has iron, uh, almost a full suit of iron armor. She's lacking the iron helmet, but she has an enchanted axe, which is the first time we've ever gotten that. Taking a look at the back, we see a little bit more. As you can see here, there is a, a TNT explosion function. Um, there's, there's a lot of room to fight, and... I think that's pretty much it once I I can build this and then we can take an even closer look at this. Alright, now it's time to get into the review. This set may look small, but it's actually, it's very thick. Like, this, the height, the width, like, this, this over here takes up a, not, not, I wouldn't say a lot of pieces, but a considerably good amount of pieces, considering that this is a battle pack and it's meant to have, uh, not very many pieces, and Another reason for why it doesn't have a lot of pieces is because the they use like large plates to kind of size it up a little bit instead of using a lot of little pieces. So if some people are wondering why they don't have a lot of pieces in it, that's probably one of the reasons why. <clears throat> so I'm going to, again, as always, I'm going to remove the characters from the set so, that, so they don't get in the way or become a distraction for a while I'm trying to review the set. So here it is, this is the nether fight. As you can see over here, this is some gravel right here, and some, there's some soul sand here, and some soul sand up here. I'm pretty bummed, they don't, they actually don't include any nether wart, but I know that that's not exactly accurate if they did, if because nether wart is only found in uh, nether fortresses. But of course that, ha ha that hasn't stopped them before, they've still included it in the wither, the wither set and the nether the nether fortress so i guess like i guess they realized their mistake and decided not to put any nether wart in but so yeah that's that's a little bit of a bummer but it's it's okay over here you can see they have some smooth one by one tiles on some of the nether rack and that's actually supposed to represent magma blocks blocks of magma which i think they did a good job representing that as you can see they have some brown mushrooms up here along with some 
flame right here and a TNT block, which they actually have a function for right here. You see the TNT, press this little uh, four by two smooth orange tile and it blasts right off. So that's very sim simplified, very simplified explosion of a TNT. Of course, they can't make it very large because of the lack of size. Right here, they have a little bit of a lava flow. For some reason, they use two of these little kind of slope pieces, two by one slope pieces, instead of just using one, maybe to raise the the piece count. And as I said in my um in one of my sets set reviews before, I think it was the the farm cottage that this set. I mean, the farm cottage was the only modular set. Surprisingly, this set is actually modular. Up here, they have it so you can remove that. You can see there's a bunch of these jumper plates right here to emphasize you being able to take off. They're actually, they're encouraging you from, to remove this piece. I didn't actually realize that that was there when I saw pictures of this. So I guess they're telling you that you can move that around, put it in different places. So this isn't actually qualifies to be a modular set. So I made a mistake. This is actually there are actually two modular sets in this 2018 wave. This set is modular, and the farm cottage is modular. So we can take a look at the back. Not much going on. This doesn't have at all a bad side. A lot of sets have bad sides where they don't look very good from other angles, but this set looks pretty good from all angles. So I think that's all. Pretty much all with this set. We can go ahead and move on to the minifigures. All right, now here are the minifigures. To start us off, we have Alex, and as always, she's the orange head, sand green shirt, and green eyes. Not much is to be said about her, since I'm sure everyone knows exactly what this person is. I, as I've said, as I might have mentioned in some other videos, I wish that they'd give a little bit more texture on these, uh, on these Minecraft minifigures, because I know that in the game they have a lot more different color pixels instead of it being all this solid. I also want, like, on the sides of their heads to have their hair kind of coming down and have some skin tone on this side instead of just being on the front. <clears throat> I think that would be a really cool detail for them to include. And she has an iron chest plate and iron pants. Right here, she's got an enchanted weapon. As, as I've mentioned before, we don't know what is enchanted. We're just to assume that is, it is enchanted. As for all we know, this could be a wood, a wood axe. But yeah, I, speaking of axe, I don't know why I would definitely not my choice of weapon when going to the Nether. They they don't have anything you really chop. You really pickaxe and sword is probably one of the main things to take to the Nether. So I don't know why they decided to include an enchanted axe in this set. But I mean, it's it's nice to get, but they probably could have been included in a different set. Moving on, we have a zombie pigment, and wow, okay, um, pixels, pixel, and pixels and texture on this guy, totally fine, this is, this is great, don't need very much more, except, unless they wanted to go be above and beyond, and maybe texture up the arms on some of these guys, that would, that would be superb, but f for right now, this guy looks pretty good, don't want to ask for any more, I love the pixels on the legs, and even on the toes, so maybe, crazy, Arms, arm texture, I guess. Even if there's not much to add. And down here, he has a golden sword. As all zombie pigmen do. I want, maybe, if Lego's able to do that, like, translucent armor with little kind of gray-colored pixels to represent chainmail armor. Because I, I know that whenever I was in the nether, I saw a lot of zombie pigmen with chainmail on. So I don't know if they'd, if they'd be able to do that. Trans, translucent, translucent armor with pixels on it. I don't know if they'd be able to do that, but I think that would be pretty sweet if they wanted to make chain, chain mail. <clears throat> and one of the main characters in this, uh, in this set is the Wither Skeleton. As you can see, this guy has the tall legs, just like the other Wither Skeletons we've seen. And just like the Villager in the Melon Farm, this is nice, kind of a fairly cheap set to get such a cool minifigure or character. I don't know if he's considered a minifigure, but this is a cool character in that you don't see in a lot of sets, and the previous set that we've gotten him in is mm, kind of expensive, but 
yeah, so this is a this is a nice character to add in. He, as all Wither Skeletons do, ha has a stone sword. I like how they're doing the different varieties of kinds. I know whenever they started out, they just had wood and iron. So I'm glad that they're adding in different kinds. It's really cool. <clears throat> like I said with the melon farm, if you saw that video, this is a this is a good set, a good set for like army building, I guess. To this this is an okay set to just buy over and over again to get multiple of these guys, multiple of these guys, uh, multiple of these guys. And since we've already gotten thousands of Alex's before, why not get some more? And also a guy to have multiple of would be this adorable magma cube. This is like I said the third time we've gotten this the the nether portal and the nether railway are the two other sets we've gotten this guy in he's a very simple simple look on on his face definitely they could texture that texture that up a little bit just to make it look better i love the eyes i love the different colors of orange that they use for the eyes looks pretty good so i think that's pretty much it with the minifigures <clears throat> you can take one more look and then we can head to the end of the video Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to get a notification for every time I post a video. And if you specifically like my LEGO Minecraft set reviews, be sure to check out my other ones that I have on my channel. <clears throat> and remember to listen in the comments below your thoughts on this set or some other videos you think that I should make next. So I believe that's pretty much it with this. Um, I believe that's pretty much it. So... Thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you next time with another video.